Yo, what's good? YouTube, it's your boy DB2, and today we are back with another one. All right, and today we are giving flowers to this electric, smooth guard from out of Seattle, Washington, Mr. Jamal Crawford. All right, so listen. A lot of y'all may know Mr. Jamal Crawford has the bop bop over the head, you know what I'm saying? Just a, a, a killer six man off the bench, right? But man, I must say, what, three times six man, uh, six man of the year. I must say, bro, the last week I went to the Jamal Crawford Pro Am and, um, and witnessed him play. And I must say, I. I always been a fan, but I became a bigger fan, all right? And I'm going to elaborate on that a little bit more. Right now, we're going to get into these little stats from Mr. Jamal Crawford. Um, Mr. Jamal Crawford was drafted first round, eighth pick in the 2000 draft out of Michigan. You know what I'm saying? The man is from Seattle, Mr. Uh, Kill at Rainier Beach. You know what I'm saying? Them beach boys. If you... I'm new to this area because I'm from Florida, but listen, all I know about that 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 Garfield and that Rainier beats them battles, boy. Listen, I can't wait to go to them games. But anyway, his career stats, 14 points, three rebounds, uh, three assists, you know what I'm saying? Three-time, six-man of the year. Should, hopefully, he's going to be a Hall of Famer because, man, what he's done to the game and the excitement he brought to the game and how long he's been playing in the league is damn good. 20 years. All right, and just seeing him at that program with all those pros, regardless if they're in the NBA or not, the man for him to be forty-one and in his shape, he and in the being that good of shape, um, the way he plays, electrifying, bro. Like when I tell you, bro, like bro, he has an aura to him, bro. Like he ain't on no cocky shit, none of that. Excuse me, like there's no cocky stuff, none of that. The man is was just just exciting to watch, bro. You know what I'm saying? This 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 what I, I so I got there early, right? And man, like we we count for like an hour or two. And one thing about his pro am that I like, they have two games before all the pro am games play. Like they had like AAU teams, or uh, one day they had girls playing boys, or they had another boy team, eighth graders playing each other, whatever. Bro, you would think the caliber of, like player he is. You think he'll show up late, blah, blah, blah. Bro, that man was there early. Like, he probably was there at the gym before anybody else. He was coaching the Seattle Rotary team. His son, Jamal, uh, I don't know his name. But I know his one of his sons. He's going to be built just like him. Tall, linky. He good with Will Conroy, or Con Conroy Jr. Those those kids, I don't know if they was 12 or another, 13 or what. But those kids were good, bro, and just so advanced for their age. And you can tell how the game is uh the game is expanding, and kids are just getting better and better. But for that man to be there coaching, watch every game, then he go up top, and, and he, like, he just, he showed what it was like to be a pro. You know what I'm saying? He's 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 doing his stretches, you know what I'm saying? Warming up, you know, you think just because of pro, you just get out there, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Bro, it was some good games, bro. And also, it opened my eyes to the basketball talent that, the area like Seattle, Tacoma, all those, just all this talent in, in these areas that, that they have that with pro players and NBA players, bro. And it was like, damn, I'm from Fort Myers, Florida. And it's like, bro, we, we don't really have what they have, bro. Like, we don't have a lot of it. And just to go to that was so exciting, bro. And, man, like, Jamal Crawford, bro, here, I'm giving you your flowers, bro. Because, man... Ain't no way you should not not be in a league, bro. Like, to be honest, like, I don't see why you not on, like, any, like, team, bro. Like, I feel like you should be on the Jazz, at least mentoring Jordan Clarkson because y'all like the same build, like the same prototype of player. Like, you know what I'm saying? Should be starting, but can can light it up at any, any given time, like electric. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no way you should not be in the league. I don't care what y'all say, man. He should be in the league, bro. He should be in the league. No offense like you're done as Jared Dudley them. Like, they can still play too, but so can he. He should be in the league, bro. He should be in the league. And I think he still probably can score at a high pace because the way he was giving these young dudes work, 
he probably would be giving them same young dudes in the league to work as well. And he can shoot. He's a mismatch. He he can he can the, the game is revolving around pick and rolls, pick and pops. What he he got the record for the most four point plays in NBA history, I think. Who couldn't use that? I know the Lakers could have used that. Who else could have used it? A lot of teams could have used that. The Nuggets could have used it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of teams could have used it, bro. But with that being said, Mr. Jamal Crawford, we're giving you your flowers. And listen, man, every week till that program ends, you're going to catch your boy there, to be honest with you. And one more thing before we get out of here. Um, I be hooping at your court, court in Liberty Park. Can you please come fix that other room? Because a lot of you boys be dunking in that room thinking they got bouncing. They ain't bouncing, you feel me? Well, they is jumping, but that room a little slanted from them always dunking and hanging on it. But, Mr. Jamal Crawford, I just want to say we appreciate you and thank you for what you have done to the game, and you still have a lot left in you. And I just want to say thank you, man. But uh, that was short and precise and quick. You know what I'm saying? But thank you to everybody that subscribed to this page. Thank you for people that's rocking with these series. Um, that's pretty much it, man. But uh, we out, man. Thank y'all. It's your boy, DP2, signing out. Y'all be easy.